I just got a call about you. I know you're not doing anything wrong. You're just standing here. I've been here for like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, totally within your rights to film and do whatever okay. you want. What you got you doing? For working? Yes. In and out property? Uh, this is public property. If I would ask you, I know you're probably going to say no, but if it's cool with you, if I could get your ID. Is there a reason? You can be recording that goes into our store because we have minors working and you're not allowed to take videos of minors. You're constantly, yep. no matter where you go, you're, you're being filmed. I'm on the next door app and there was at least three or four posts about you. <laughs> you didn't want the free, free promo. <laughs> What branch? Marine Corps. Are you with a certain company? It's kind of interesting because people are always bothered by it. Google Earth or something. Okay, I was just wondering. No. I can understand your perspective of how that's legal. It just makes them uncomfortable. If you want to be private in public, you got to create your own privacy like I have. Yeah, that's true. You're legally allowed to be here. That's totally fine. However, as soon as you step foot in that business, they don't want you to return. <laughs> We're going to go around, uh, make sure that they understand that we have the right to film in public. We also have to create our own privacy in public and to also make sure that they understand that there's cameras everywhere. I actually really love this little town and I am hoping to run into a bunch of kind people that let me tour their shops so I can show you guys some of them. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> good morning. Yesterday on the video I posted, I did a counter on the side of the video that shared kind of a rough idea of the people that were bothered, people that completely ignored us, and people that were super friendly to us. Friendly and unbothered absolutely outweighed the bothered, and that number is skewed in the favor of bothered because a lot of the video that it's just I'm being ignored we take out there's no sense in including all the video it'd be a four-hour video at that point so really the numbers of unbothered people are upwards of the probably couple hundreds and that shows you that it's not a large portion of society that's having the issues here and then I also wanted to follow that up. Somebody was saying, hey, why don't you do these without a mask and see if the results are skewed by the mask. And to those people, I tell you guys, this is a channel about freedoms. This is my freedom. And you can watch 80% of the auditors out there who choose not to wear masks, and that's their decision, and that's also their freedom, okay? But they get the same results the same Karens. A Karen is gonna be a Karen towards the camera, regardless of what the cameraman's wearing. How you guys doing? Looks like they have a lot of random. How you guys doing? Um, looks a little more like a bar than a eatery, but I think they got both, I'm assuming. If I don't get a single soul coming in and out in three or four minutes, then there's no point in being here standing at a essentially empty building. Unless I notice things, little things inside like cam bags or people gathering to talk about us. That usually will lead up to somebody coming outside and uh, approaching us. So we'll stay a little longer for that. The bigger the store, the longer I stay. So we do adjust the time from like three to four minutes to seven to eight minutes sometimes 10 to 15 minutes it really just depends and for really large places uh, big real estate offices financial buildings um, anything like that large grocery stores will do about 10 to 15 minutes and again it all relative depending on how the behaviors inside the building are going so so if you guys notice the iPhone, when it zooms in, it has that bounce down, which I'm not a fan of. I don't understand why they did it like that, because to me that's not true zoom, that's just, you know, it establishes that it is artificial zoom, which it absolutely is. So it's not like we have a lens moving in and out. Um, I'm assuming it's processing zoom and I'd have to really look into that. 
So comment down below guys if you know anything about how these iPhone camera zoom functions work. So I, I may be under the uh, wrong belief that it is artificial created by processor zoom. But that's where, that's where my opinion lies. And I'd like someone to explain it. If you understand or know anything about the zooms on these camera phones, let me know, guys. If more than four-fifths of the people that react to me do so in a very friendly, calm way, then the it goes to prove that what I'm wearing and you know how I'm presenting is not bothersome to very many people. It's only a select few that have chosen to pan panic and have a poor reaction. I have a few times either with my daughter or my wife has tried to feed me some healthy stuff like this and saying how amazing they taste. Uh uh. Nope. It is all bad. Um, I've never had one that I actually enjoyed the flavor of. So if anybody has any suggestions on how I could do something healthy like this while also um, being able to drink it. <laughs> I think one of, hello. I, was just by I can barely hear you. You got the traffic behind oh, me. I was just wondering why you're recording the store choice. Why well, I'm recording? The store, yeah. The store or the store employees? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I thought you said why I'm recording the store employees. No, the store. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you, I mean, if you look in the window, you can barely see inside. It's yeah. mostly the glare. So we get people coming in and out. We time lapse the videos and yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. I was just wondering. No, no, you're good. You're good. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. Everybody wants to be a star. No, sure. <laughs> So I don't know if that answered her questions or not. Um, she was really friendly. At first I thought she said, why are you filming the store employees? Are you guys with like a certain company? What's that? The girls are just like weirded out about it. Are you with a certain company? Both. Both. No. Um, Is it a personal like thing? So we don't normally talk about while we're working, but we do travel videos. Okay. We usually face towards the front of the building time lapse people coming in and out and then we'll stop it for any interactions we have um but if nobody interacts it's just it's just a time lapse video nobody notices anything so, like so. YouTube? It, we have a, a bunch of different places we publish it at so okay. um, do you, like, put the company what's that do you like put the company's name whatever we can see yeah oh is it just for like purposes of just travel it depends. So we have nine different channels and then a bunch of different social medias. So it just depends on where we put it. Okay. So, okay. yeah. All right. All right. So she's in there addressing. We can't see anything in there anyway. So no point in zooming in a little bit just so you guys can see the bar area finally. If anyone knows anything about these, uh, put it in the comments. Anything about these drinks, put it in the comments because I definitely want to, I'm getting a cam back right now. I definitely want to, um, hello? You can't be recording that goes into our store because we have minors working and you're not allowed to take videos of minors or post them on the internet. Okay, you're wildly misinformed. Store and that's not hey, you're wildly misinformed. I do this full time. This is my job. We do travel videos. I record indiscriminately inside the buildings from what I can see from public, which I'm allowed to do regardless of who's inside. Even if it's minors? Regardless of who's inside. You can't post minors online if you don't regardless, have that's not true in public. If I was inside the store, so absolutely. It doesn't store. matter if I can see it from public. So you can't trespass somebody's eyes. So you have to understand that law. 
if I can see it from public, my camera is allowed to also see it. And you can post it online. Absolutely. But you're posting it online. It it's your job. Doesn't it's matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you're in public, you're absolutely allowed to record anything you can see from public, including if it's into a store. Okay, well, just so you know, we are calling security and we're going to... Okay, that's fine. So, since you guys are going to do that, now I have to stay put. Okay, So, I was almost done. I was doing my last shot, but since you guys are making those calls, I'll stay here and wait. Okay. All right. So, now I have to stay here, guys. How do you have to stay here? I'm not going to have you guys calling security and cops and having me run around town and them looking for me. So, now I have to stay here waiting for them. I could barely hear you with everybody behind me. I can understand your perspective of how that's legal. It just makes them uncomfortable. Okay, if you're that uncomfortable being out in public, then don't come out in public. I mean, that's the end of uh, That's it, you know? Or if you're in I mean, public... I think it's just the fact that you're wearing a mask and you have glasses on. Otherwise... It, that is not it at all. So we have a lot of the people that work with us don't wear this and get the same reactions. So it doesn't... It has nothing to do with it. I wear this because I'm out in the sun all day and I burn like a fucking lobster, so... How you guys doing? Good. Good. It's a lot of orange. It looks like the uh, police have showed up. So the police are here guys, hopefully one that knows what they're doing and is here to educate. So I thought San Clemente had their own police department, but it is Orange County Sheriff responding. So we'll see how this goes. I don't. I. I. No, they needed help. What happened? I can't hear you. I'm Thomas. No. Yep. Yep. I think they're trying to coax them into arresting me. So you guys can't see it, maybe you guys can. I'm doing a little dance here. Guys, you gotta teach your kids. I taught my kids that they ain't got no right to privacy in public. Absolutely. I have explained to my daughter a hundred times that you do not have rights to privacy in public and whatever you make public is out there forever, including your person. So she knows. My sons know. Although my daughter is not one to mess with. <laughs> Anyways, so I'd like to see someone try with her. But she also would have never imagined walking up to somebody with a camera and telling them not to film her. 
I've been the sun same my sons would probably do you know dances and laugh around with the cameraman and offer him water like there's no none of this hatred is necessary so there is a second deputy How you doing? Can I get your name badge? Yeah, one second. He's in here. But can I get your name badge real quick? Yeah, yeah, maybe one more, five, six. Yeah. Kind of half-ass gave me his name. Can I get your uh, name and badge number? I'm Deputy Aguilar and my badge number is 10160. Uh, this, uh, you're illegally allowed to be here, that's totally fine. However, as soon as you step foot in that business, they don't want you to return. For I already, I already, I, yeah. I, I'm just letting you know, sir, formally. Yeah, you know you're recording as well, so just. I okay. completely understand. Right, and sir. Have a good rest of the day. Yep, absolutely. Hey guys, that's how not to behave. Um, if you call the cops, I'm gonna wait. And then I'm gonna stay there a few minutes after they're there. Uh, cops educate them. They didn't like what I'm doing, but they don't have to. Uh, they are law enforcement officers, not feelings enforcement officers. So they can uh, appreciate the law portion of it at least. Um, it sounds like, you know, the way that they were acting that they had previously given unlawful orders for people to stop filming and got educated and they don't like the fact that they got educated that's the sense that i got from them but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and go to the next spot so i do appreciate that they um they work on our service uniforms here for our marines which means they probably do a really good job so that's good He didn't want the free free promo. <laughs> but it's alright. Um, he's actually locking the doors, guys. So he locked he locked the doors. Alright. That's one way to go about it. That should have been what the uh, ladies at the smoothie shop would have done. And I would have been out of there real quick proud sponsor of Triton football like it looks like they do a lot for their community and got to give them a props for that walk up area right there
That's how you do it, buddy. <laughs> you have a good day. I gotta see what this guy's carrying out. That looks amazing. Upcycling of materials here. So you got a one of those 50 gallon drums. Correct me if I'm wrong on the size. And some asshole decided to be a prick. All right. And that's what happens when you get raised without good parents, man. So I'm nowhere near the walkway right here. The walkway is right there. The crosswalk's right there. That guy just decided to bulldoze through me. I like this side of town. I keep getting waves. <laughs> I like, I like getting waves. Waves are fun. Waves are fun. There's a tavern. Okay. Oh, that's way more my style in there, guys. That's cool. That is cool. So, I like the brick. And I like the big wooden door. You go inside, you get a little bit of all of that in there, which is really cool. Um, yesterday I saw a black and white barber pole. And it looks like they have another one right here. So that's cool. Not sure why the barber pole is in the bar, but that's really cool. Hey, Don. <laughs> What's that? What are you doing? I do travel videos. We just post them online. We have like nine different travel channels. Yeah, yeah. It when it's more crowded. Well, no, so I, I got a good shot. I love the wave. Positivity is always good. <laughs> um, but no, I appreciate you guys. You know, I got a little wave. Was it from the guys at the bar? Was that from you or one of you guys? Okay, yeah. One of you guys waved. That's good. But yeah, we, we spend about three minutes at each spot and then we just keep going. And then any interactions we have. like Google Earth or something where they show the prep. I wish. I'd be getting a bigger paycheck. <laughs> you guys have a good day. All right. So this, you got Old Glory, and you got the Marine flag. Now it sucks that the Marine flag's not catching as much wind. I feel like the pole needs to be another few feet up. Looks like they play the Super Bowl here too. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Good, 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 what good. Take pictures. Uh, just to, we go shop to shop, and get, we also record any encounters we have. Okay. Um, I had a question though. I can't answer that question. You can't answer it. Oh, damn. All right. All right. Well, no, I may I, be able to, but I'm not. I, I, I may help it. Well, what's your, your name first? Huh? What's your name? Huh? What's your name? I can't give you that okay. information either. All right. Yeah. The Marine Corps flag. I was wondering if it's Marine owned or Marine welcoming. <laughs> Both. Both. Perfect. 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 All right. Yeah, we like we like seeing that. So that's good. Yeah. I like that you guys have the flag up there, too. So. Yeah. But no, we just post, the, you know, uh, travel videos on YouTube. We do about three minutes. Usually we get people coming in and out. Yeah, it's a great board. You know, a lot, lot of the... Uh, no, mm -hmm. no, no, come on. You got to advertise for them, man. Negative. No? <laughs> All right. Hey, you have a good day, though. You Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> how you doing, buddy? All right, how you doing? You're just out of shot. <laughs> oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> so, as a reminder, though. <laughs> so, as a reminder, guys, they are always filming us. Um, both all the way down the sidewalk into the street and into the parking lot. So, hey, you have a good day, buddy. I like the very old school diner feel to it. And then, of course, you have the uh, outside seating over here. And then you have some outside seating over here on this. Uh, I don't know what these chairs are for. Maybe it's a waiting area. And then you have the outdoor seating over on that side. So, uh, we have the little puppy. Hi, puppy! <laughs> Look at the little puppy! <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. Like little doggy. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just double checking, you doing this for what's, what's positive? That? Positive. Uh... Yeah, we go to each spot, do about three minutes, get any interactions. Cool. It all goes on travel video. Are you the owner? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm Jack. Yeah. How are you? Antoine. What's your name? Antoine. Antoine. Okay. Yeah. I could not pronounce. <laughs> No worries, it's all good. Yeah. I was trying to pronounce it. So I love the hand carved sign. I'm assuming it's hand carved or hand milled or yeah, it's okay. hand milled. Yep. Um, and then we have got a, the hand built uh, Yeah, I noticed the yeah, surfboard, surfboard, yeah, all of it. Yeah. But yeah, no, we just 
talk about each spot. Cool. Most of our engagements really positive. You, you know, you did really well. We get some negative too. Those get, those kind of blow up too. But you know, that's not you know we're here for all of it. So oh, for sure. All right, but uh, Antoine, Jack. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. And then let me look at this car while we're getting this. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. You guys could not see the amount of glitter that that thing had. Um, that was really cool. But we are at 220 South El Camino Real, guys, here in San Clemente. Beautiful, beautiful uh, shopping district here. And I cannot get enough of that car, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I gotta go look. Take a look at the car, guys. Um, I enjoy beautiful machines, man. And I'm gonna invade private property, which is against my rule here. But I have to go ask him about his car. What is your all-time favorite car that you would love to see more of on the streets? And let's keep it old school. How you doing, buddy? Come on. Can I ask you about your car? <laughs> 1950 Chevy Coupe. 1950 Chevy Coupe. Yeah. Gorgeous paint job in the sun, man. That, that is that is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Guys, look at that. That is beautiful, guys. Sorry, I had to go there, guys. That was a uh, lots of uh, man hours went into that car. You can tell. It's kind of where we're at, guys. You going in for a haircut? Yep. <laughs> Get rid of the helmet hair. And I hopefully I get that historic city hall sign. It doesn't look like it's open, so we're not gonna stay stay here any longer. But um, that's a cool little building. All right, guys. We are here at a uh, Chase Bank here, and we are gonna make sure that they understand we have a right to film in public. What's that? Is there a reason why you're recording? I can't hear you. Is there a reason why you're recording? I'm just taking video. Is there a reason? I can't disclose that while I'm working, but yeah, we have a reason. Okay. It just looks a little sketchy. No, it's all good. Hello. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good. Hey, uh, I just got a call about you. I know you're not doing anything wrong. You're just standing here. I've been here for like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, totally within your rights to film and do whatever you right. want. I just, obviously, I have to because of the community. Yep. What's the name and is it badge or serial number? Yeah, it's uh, Jay Gonzalez. 10550 okay. is my, uh, my number. Is it serial or badge? It's uh, it's a, it's a, it's our, it's our like agency number. It's our okay. identity number. It's not really a badge number. Okay. We run a little ID number. Okay. Yeah, it's our yeah, yeah perfect. Um, if I would ask you, I know you're probably going to say no, but if it's cool with you, if I could get your ID, you don't have to get No, it. we don't do that. That's perfectly okay. fine if you don't want to do No, that. no, you're fine. I, just, I appreciate yeah. you asking in a very respectful way, but yeah. if I just shake your hand and say hi to you? Jack. Hey, Jack. Nice Jack. to meet you, man. Yeah, I know. I, I actually yeah. respect what you're doing at some level because you're not being rude or anything like that, and you're just... Our just, entire, you know, what we do is way different than most. We yeah. completely stand in silence, don't bother anybody. We greet if anyone walks close yeah. to our proximity. What's the goal, if you don't mind me asking? Um, so that's a rough one yeah. <laughs> so we have nine channels mm -hmm. some of the content goes on actual travel channel okay the interactions go a little different yeah um we have positive and negative interactions but those obviously go on different channels too yeah. so 
the goal is just content creation, so that's all we, you know, we get tons of different content. Is it usually contacts with civilians or with law For the most or? part, civilians, yes. Yeah. Uh, so we also do 1A audits, <laughs> so we do first amendment auditing as well. Oh, okay. Those are typically, you know, the government buildings, sheriff's departments, police stations, post offices, things like that. Yeah. That's not what we're here out here doing. This is a... Kind of educating and reminding the public that we are always filmed. The only yeah. reason they notice this camera is because there's a person attached yeah. to it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That, so if you think true. about it, I mean, half these cars have dash cams, half the buildings have cameras that point into the public areas as yeah, well. So you're constantly. Yep. No matter where you go, you're, you're being filmed. Regardless. Absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because people are always bothered by it. Like, and that's like, kind of the, filming me. And it's like, so the oh. point of us all doing this because there's hundreds of us that yeah. do this is desensitizing people to filming yeah. and that's really the the end the end all be all <laughs> yeah which again will never happen but that's the that'd be a nice goal is mm -hmm. to desensitize people to the reality of if you're going to be okay with them filming then you got to be okay with us filming yeah i mean that's kind of where we're going is like a state that's constantly completely oh yeah down in san diego they just installed all the cameras on the intersections again and mm -hmm. so it's yeah everywhere you go huh, you know yeah all right jaguar you take care just be likewise because People would be a little crazy. Absolutely. I'm keeping an eye on my... I definitely watch my six while I'm doing it. All right, man. You take care. Have a All good right, day, brother. Man. Appreciate it. Thanks for being professional. Did the bank call you? What? The bank called you? Uh, I didn't really pay attention to who exactly Because that was really quick. I yeah. literally was here for like... I don't think it was the bank. It's probably... Now just, I'm here on 11 minutes and 35 seconds. <laughs> it's, probably just, it's probably just a passerby. Okay. Because yeah. I was... That's weird. Yeah. I think I think for most people, honestly, they're probably... It's probably like the mask or whatnot. And they're like kind of... You know... Get a little bit so, we they say that mm -hmm. but we do these with and without the masks and my, my crew that. and it's a karen is going to be a karen regardless of the mask this Fair just enough. becomes their excuse but for me this is a conversation piece because it's like i explain to people when they ask me about it if you want to be private in public you got to create your own privacy like i have yeah that's true and it and it oh, drills a point to home yeah that's at true. the end of the day so oh, fair enough All right, Jack, appreciate it man home? you have a wonderful yeah. evening stay safe So we are getting a uh, fire department leaving. So it's funny when they think that the guy in the mask is the suspicious one when banks especially the massive ones rob from us blind on an annual basis this is not suspicious the banks are suspicious so what if i'm watching the bank to prevent crime have you ever thought of that guys how you doing you have a good day buddy So in the last decade, I'll just use Wells Fargo as an example, because they're the ones that get caught the most. Wells Fargo got busted for loan inflation and sued. They got busted for overdraft fees and sued and settled. They got busted for opening fake accounts for people to inflate their earnings, sued settled and I'm the suspicious one out here with the camera guys don't be worried about the guy holding the camera be worried about the institution you're taking all your money they are open hella late so if you're out until 3 in the morning there's a lot of these that are out or there's a lot of these that are open until, you know, 1 to 3 in the morning. So it's a little warm out here. I don't know. I'm going to have to order some kind of air-conditioned suit to do this in the summer. <laughs> but I will be out here for you guys. I'm definitely not going to bitch out and stick to only the indoors. Move out of this guy's way. 
How you doing? Thought he was gonna try to grab my camera for just a second. There's another gentleman on his way home from work with his super white pants. The whitest pants you've ever seen in your life. I haven't had anyone talk to me yet. I'm getting kind of lonely over here. Someone needs to play that song in the background. I'm so lonely. Yeah, I'm bored, guys. I'm starting to sing. Sorry. You can tell that most of her life she chose drugs. I am really proud of her for finding something else to do with her time. Changing their life. What's that? What are you doing? I'm just taking a video. For what? We don't discuss that while we're working, but yeah, just taking a video. Working? What's that? You're working? Yes. You announce property? Uh, this is public property. It's for someone wearing an American flag hat, it sure doesn't know anything about our rights. <laughs> the irony in talking to that guy He's wearing an American flag hat and grilling me on what I am doing in public. That was great. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Good. Anything I can help you out with? No, I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it, though. Okay, no worries. What you got you doing? I'm just taking some video. Oh, nice. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. I just so, wanted to double check. Because you're being so nice, it's, yeah. it's you know, I'll, I'll... Shit. It's too bright. Sorry. So because I'm being so nice, or because you're being so nice, and yeah. me, no. <laughs> I'll be okay. nice, too. Um... We're First Amendment auditors, so we kind of go out in public spaces and public access walkways uh -huh. to remind people that we have the right to film in public, oh, okay. to also remind them that everybody is filming. I mean, I'm sure you guys are filming outside too, some yeah, spots. Absolutely. Um, almost every building is filming, cars are filming now, just to remind people. The only reason people notice this is because there's a person attached to it. Yeah. So, and that's kind of the point we're proving. And the people that say, oh, I, I don't want to be public, you know, but they're, out in pri uh, but they're out in private, we tell them, create your own privacy. You know what I mean? Oh, like this. Yeah. So that, that's what we're doing out here, just to kind of let you guys know. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. No worries. You guys, what's your name? So Chris. Chris? I'm Jack. How you doing? Nice to meet you, Jack. Jordan. Jordan and Jack. Have a great rest of your day. You too. I wonder if people think I'm supposed to be mad at that. Should I pretend to be mad? You know, when, when people do things like camebacks, and I think that they do it because they're trying to trigger us, or, oh no, don't take my picture. Um, you're doing exactly what I want you to do. You have just picked up your phone and openly filmed somebody in public space. I want to desensitize people to this. I am educating people and reminding them that we are always filmed. And they absolutely should be desensitized to the idea. So guys, uh, somebody told me I should open up a Amazon wish list, but I couldn't find the Mercedes van motorhome conversion on Amazon. So if somebody wants to send me one, I will accept that as a donation. So I was going through my stats the other day on the creator suite and I read that 80% of my subscribers and people that watch my videos are male and about 18% are female which leaves about 2% that I have no idea of, um, what they've categorized them as but you know to each their own And in learning this, I've decided that um, if there's any ladies out there that, you know, are curious what I look like, I'm a sweaty old dude. <laughs> right now, I'm sweaty as hell. 
Not an attractive quality, I'm sure. Just putting that out there. Self-defecation is always good. Defecation. I did that way wrong. <laughs> Self-deprecation. Self Don't defecate on me. <laughs> I know I said a word wrong in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know which one it was at the moment. <sighs> Out of sheer embarrassment, I do not want to leave in that last segment there. But I'm probably going to. I do not mind being picked on when I'm making fun of myself a little bit. And I kind of want you guys to enjoy that part of my personality. And that's one of the reasons why I, you know, have a hard time with these uh, negative comments. And that I find them funny when people are trolling me or, you know, being negative towards me or talking crap at me. I find them humorous. And I know some youtubers and i've seen them they get really upset over the negativity and i don't care about the negativity it's kind of hilarious i actually enjoy it you're still commenting on my stuff so if you got good or bad things to say say them speak up speak your mind on my videos guys this is a free forum for you guys to express all of your internals so while you're expressing all of your internals you are still commenting. I'd appreciate the sub, even for my haters. I have so much commentary here. I don't know which to put on and which to leave out. It's sad because I actually have a lot of good commentary throughout the day. And I usually edit all of it out. <laughs> I feel like I needed just a video where nothing happens, but you guys can just listen to an hour of my commentary. Not that I'm that funny. And most of it is pretty stupid. It's all of the mispronunciations. I'm surprised I got that one good on here. The horrific grammar is also on that list. And all of the other things. I got about, I could probably make an entire video of just ums. I should do that, just um, 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 on repeat. Bet you wanted to stab your ears out right then. All right guys, for my smarter people, I had a question. So the public sidewalk begins to go into the private parking lot. Crosses a crosswalk and then goes underneath a bank. So I'm going to have to look this up because I haven't run into it yet. But am I now on private property? And should I be standing in the street? Let me know in the comments below. This is actually kind of an important one to, to know. And if you guys know any case law for it, uh, let me know that too. Because I'm on the fence. I kind of think, well, they chose to make the public walkway up here. But I... This is not a city maintained parking lot, or this is not a city maintained sidewalk, it doesn't look like. So, um, it looks like all the other sidewalks in the private parking lot, and it looks nothing like the sidewalk on the city side. So, I am under the assumption that at the moment I am on private property. How you doing, bro? Hey, I think you're talking about you on Facebook on the San Juan Capistrano page. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Are, <laughs> people are complaining about you were standing at the Chase Bank. Oh, probably. Yeah, I've yeah. been all over the place. Three people posted, this guy, crazy guy, standing out there recording. What's your name? Jeff. Jeff, I'm Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Nobody was complaining because you don't break any laws. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Sheriff, Sheriff called on me like three times today and yeah, they've yeah. been fine with it. They don't... You're not um, breaking any laws. Yeah, so most of what I... So we have nine different channels. Hi, oh, you're he, so gorgeous. He's I nice. Know. No, no, it's fine. He's beautiful. 
Um, so most of our channels are, we do travel videos. So we'll stop at a location, okay. time lapse, getting in and out. And then of course we have the reaction channel. Yeah. Different interactions with people, the positive ones, and then the ones where people so are losing their shit. I'm, I'm on the next door app. And there was at least three or four posts about you. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I, I lived just down there. And so I walked by and I was like, I should probably tell this guy that there's a lot of shit being talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm sure it happens every day. Oh, yeah. Um, those I, neighborhood apps are just Karen apps. and you know. I, I, I train all my service dogs off leash. I get the cops called on me all the time. Nice, But nice. they know me because they're all service dogs. So are you rescuing them or? I buy them from, I adopt them from shelters. Okay. Train them into service dogs and then sell them. That, that's amazing. You're giving yeah. them a way better life yeah, we are. Um, in the process. DJ. And... <laughs> I'll take it. He's new in the training. He's actually ready to go. Oh, okay. Sit. Well, that's that's amazing. What do you sell one for, for example? I'm asking 35 for him. It's not bad with trained. No, that, that's, fully that's, trained, one yeah. year old. Um, the reason why, so I've, I've sold purebreds mm -hmm. that I got from specific rescues that I yeah. actually had to pay for because veterans get shelter dogs for free. Okay. Rescues don't do that. You are a veteran? Yeah. Uh, what branch? Marine Corps. Nice, nice. Uh, but so the only the county run sh uh, shelters give them to you for free. Okay. The specific uh, rescues. They and it doesn't matter how many times or. Oh no. That's good. That's oh, they good. they know me by my first name. That that's good, especially because of what you're doing. Because you're you are giving them that second chance, yeah. regardless. Some people disagree, like, oh, you're just buying yeah. and selling that, but but I get it. That's they're, a whole wildly different. A little upset with me though, because I make a lot more money than that shelter does by one dog, you know. No, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But you're the one putting the time. I mean, it. In the training. Yeah. So we used to rescue uh, pit bulls that were like the bait dogs, not the ones used in fighting, but the ones that were used to piss off the fighting dogs, mm -hmm. and they were in horrible shape. And we used to rescue them, rehabilitate them, um, and then we would uh, sell them as well. Um, completely fixed like rehab yeah and we used to work with graham bloom down in san diego carlsbad yeah. area and he used to like he's the one that brought a bunch of dogs and stuff from afghanistan yeah he was the trainer for all the military dogs that okay. were coming over um I great brought, dude but, I, brought yeah. the, I brought the two camouflage ones home with me from afghanistan oh nice because when you buy these ones on amazon they, they come with these and these last about a month or two nice nice what's his name pj PJ? PJ. PJ. Hi, PJ. You're a good boy, PJ. And what kind of dog? He looks a little husky. He's a shelter mutt, so you can never really tell unless you do the DNA thing. Nice, and nice, nice. That's not for puppies, PJ. <laughs> I know it smells good. Right. Uh, but yeah, so he's, so he's fully trained um, in Vertigo. The original, nice, the original nice, person nice, that was going to buy him said, I have Vertigo. I want to train for that. So I trained nice. him for that. And then I saw her house and said, no. I'm, oh no! I, yeah, I you gotta. I'm glad you do home visits. I'm assuming. I have to. Perfect. That's uh, amazing. I, oh, I, he likes the lovings, huh? Oh, if another Aww. dog, if another dog walked by, he wouldn't even lift his head. He would just stay here, just so you're getting beds. That's amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. And that's one thing I, I have no fear of having him off leash, but it's also legal. Yeah. yeah. Because of his All job. Right. All right. So I had a question about that. So the off leash, this makes it different right if they're trained if they're trained if they're trained specifically so the ada law states um it quote unquote is very vague if a leash prohibits a dog from doing his job a leash is not required perfect, perfect. but you know what 99 percent of the people don't know, don't that. know that so the cops get called on me what all do you the think time? i run into every day every day people that have no idea what the law is but the cops get called on me all the time and they come and they come and they come bringing treats because they know it's me yeah oh we got this long-haired blonde guy at the park with a dog off leash and they're like all right we'll go be there in a second they come and they bring all grocery bags full of food for hey get out of the street uh, so do you have an instagram page or yeah. what's your instagram Facebook, and then I, I'm recently now on the Nextdoor app, uh, but it's just the name of the company. <laughs> the Nextdoor. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's uh, uh, the Nextdoor app has actually been the most beneficial. Of no, no, it's a great this. app. Yeah. But I call it the Karen app. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, for this exact situation, I'm yeah. glad you. I'm glad you let me know. Um, yeah. I'm assuming it happens not just. In, I mean, it happens on the Facebook groups. I mean, I oh, get. Yeah. I hear about it often. But this is a, this is a legal thing that you're doing. You're not exactly done, you're, exactly. I, I mean, there's probably ten cameras looking yep. at this right now. And that's so yeah. my point. So we do a one audits as well, yeah. where we go in the post office, government buildings, but we also do this, which brings awareness to the fact that we are being recorded everywhere we go. Yeah. By the cars that drive by, the by the buildings, buildings everyone's cell phones, any store, any store, yeah. any store nowadays. Yeah. Um, so the only reason they notice this camera is because I'm attached to it. Yeah. And people forget, you go through whole life, you forget how often you're being filmed. And it's funny because today alone, I pointed out how some of these cameras are 
pointed at the street for no reason. Yeah. They don't, there's no, like, yeah. what do you need to be pointing at the sidewalk street? Yeah. It's the same shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's funny when those buildings come out and complain. Yeah. And the managers will come out and complain. Why are you fall? Do you ever meet the cops that don't know the rule? So here's the thing. The sheriff, Orange County and San Diego have always been amazing. Knowledgeable, never interfere. Perfect. SDPD or police departments, complete opposite. It's 50 50. Well, some of them completely lose their shit and have no idea what the law is, and the other half. But then you can sue, and then you never have to work for another two years. <laughs> well, you know, if I get in a situation where I have to sue, that would suck. Um, yeah. It's not really my intention. I'm already retired. Yeah. I'm more out here for the education. Yeah. I want those cops. The fact that the sheriff all know and understand our rights, and that yeah. they come and most coddle of, these people's feelings. Do, I yeah. see a lot of them where the tyrant So cops far, are yeah, saying, absolutely. Oh, turn that off. You're not allowed That's to police them. departments are really bad at that. So yes. they have no training yeah. whatsoever so on stay this. stay out of Newport then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I plan on going there soon, but yeah. it's funny because for the next few days, I'm going to be in this area, San yeah. Clemente, uh, Dana Point. And up here, and so I'm probably gonna be all over the app. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There was at least four posts about you today. Nice, nice, because nice. I, I live about three doors down from the chase. Okay. And I'm on the next door app all the time trying to get, generate business, business for myself. Nice, nice, nice. This is, this is the best way I generate business though because it says adopt me on him. Yeah. And usually yeah. he's wearing doggy goggles, like, oh, nice. like ski goggles. Nice. More is a conversation piece than anything. Yeah. He doesn't require them, but um, you know he's ready to go. And so the, the more exposure I get, you know, the quicker he's going to be sold. You're so pretty, hey, hey. PJ. Look at the camera. Aw, oh, he's got a pretty face. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, thanks for your service, hey, thank and you, you have a good evening, and appreciate the stop. Nice to meet you. Good luck, man. I'll see you around. So yeah, so there's an app called Next Door, and I'm pretty sure almost all of you know about it already. And then as well as the Facebook groups and stuff, and I am sure I'm featured on those every day, multiple times a day. And that herein lies the whole creating my own privacy thing. You know, creating my own privacy is very important because of the allegations that people like to throw while I'm doing this. And it's amazing how they'll be like, oh, you know, uh, suddenly, oh, he's filming minors and trying to get me, you know, busted for that kind of shit. None of that's okay, but you know damn well they're posting that kind of shit on these next door apps. And last thing I need is my face plastered all over these apps that I have no way to defend, making accusations of assault like happened in Hillcrest. All on camera, got the entire situation. So obviously, the you know, I was proved not to have done any of that. Um, but just crazy situations where people just make things up to sensationalize what's really going on and because of that sensationalism i am encouraging people that do this all auditors start masking up man absolutely start masking up you can defend our freedoms and defend our rights and educate the public both directions reminding them if you want privacy you got to create your own privacy in public if this is if, if you want private you have to create it yourself and funny funny to talk about that for a second i want to want to reach on that for a second so last week i mentioned in one of my videos how my facial recognition on my phone opens up my phone with this on so even this is not a lot of privacy to be created even this is not a lot of privacy to create when facial recognition scan through it, uh, apparently, or at least get the important highlights. But you guys can educate. We can all educate the public on our rights, on the freedoms that we have, and the importance of filming the police and interactions you have with people. Because imagine if I had not had a camera rolling and in two weeks I got accusation after accusation after accusation just because I'm filming. What if I wasn't filming? And some reason these women decided, hey, uh, you slighted me somehow and they could put me in jail on some he said, she said shit. None of that's okay. So you have to create your own privacy while also teaching people that we are always being filmed on the street uh, at the lights in every car almost. It's, it's constant. I'm gonna stop here guys. Um, before I continue, 
I don't know how much I'm gonna get right here, but I love this setup and the lights. And then if you go right here, they have a downstairs area. An upstairs area. And a further upstairs area. And it just looks like this little tiny village. All right, guys. I gotta know, battle of the pizzas here. So I know for a fact the best pizza is not in San Diego. We do have a couple really good pizza places. But I absolutely want to know, you prefer the Chicago or the New York pizza, guys? Throw your opinion down below in the comments. And don't be throwing no Domino's and Little Caesars. That ain't pizza. None of that is pizza. If it is a chain that is not pizza, guys, do not dare talk about pizza in your state because you have a Domino's or a Tony's or some other weird random thing that they call it but isn't. I wanted to show you guys this. Um, this probably looks a lot better at night, but I wanted you guys to see the street kind of looks amazing right now. It's got a lot of little shops and stores, restaurants and bars. One more shot of that, guys. That is a really good shot. There's a lot of personality to these shops and stores. Um, all the way down to these the, the lights that they got going here, these little flickering light bulbs. Tons of personality here, guys. I don't watch any of those shows, but... Um, that's kind of cool if that's what's going on here. And then uh, I'm assuming you get the coaster or the sprinter comes through here. It is a whole ass old school train station going on here. That's different. So that's kind of cool. 